If you're like me, you have seen a lot of news stories lately with this claim about ground-penetrating radar finding Noah's Ark. The short answer is no, they didn't find Noah's Ark. And the long answer is ground-penetrating radar couldn't find Noah's Ark, right? That's not how ground-penetrating radar works. But a part of the problem with this reporting is a lot of people don't know how ground-penetrating radar works. You just see the name, it sounds fancy, it sounds scientific, you see it in TV shows, provides the air of legitimacy to a claim, and most places seem happy just to take that and go on and say, hey, look, we have these results, this is their interpretation of what that means, and here's your article. We want to take a step back to say some of how ground-penetrating radar works, because it is a legitimate method to help archaeologists identify things. However, it can actually tell you what's there. So what is ground-penetrating radar? Well, the name is a fairly good name. It's radar that you shoot into the ground. When ground-penetrating radar is being done, there's this little machine that gets dragged back and forth over the ground, and it sends radar waves into the Earth. You can set them at different frequencies, you can have different antenna responses to try to have an idea of what is below the Earth without having to dig. There are some limitations, however, because different soil types respond differently. And so the depth of the radar can vary depending on where you are or what frequency you set. And so often you will have multiband frequency scans to try to get a good idea of what's happening underneath the Earth. As these waves spread out, they don't just capture what's directly below you, but they capture the things next to it as well. And so ground penetrating radar can help you see when something is there, as well as what might be underneath it. And so you can get a good idea of what type of disturbances might be there underground with ground penetrating radar. But what they can't do is tell you what those things are. And so if you're looking at GPR results like the ones that you're likely seeing right now related to the NOAA's ARC scans project, you see these blue areas and red areas. The red areas are the areas where they are saying there is an uncommon response rate. The blue area, the radar is going off and responding in the way they expect. There's always some response from natural materials, but it looks like the normal stuff. The red areas are where something is different. But what is different? Well, it could be stone. It could be a different type of soil. It could be a man-made object. It could be a pipe. It could be all kinds of things. The radar can't tell you what it is. It can just tell you that at that spot, something is different. Interpretation can come in to say, okay, this might be a wall or a shape or a structure, but the radar itself cannot confirm that. It can just say, hey, something is different here. The next step after ground penetrating radar is excavation. Ground penetrating radar gets used all the time by archaeologists to find places where they should excavate. If you're looking at a big site and trying to figure out where should we spend our precious time and money digging, the radar can help narrow in and saying, well, there's something different here, so let's dig and find out what that is. The radar itself can't tell you what that is. Is it a wall? Is it a wood formation? Is it just a change in the rock? You don't know until you excavate. And so if you're seeing news stories and groups that are happy just to trounce out their old radar results and say, look, we found it, and have no next step plan of excavating, you should ask questions, because the radar itself can't do that, even if they say third-party unbiased individuals are giving them that interpretation. It's just an interpretation saying something has changed here. It can't tell you what exactly that is. Only excavation can tell you that. However, we are very happy that they are saying we don't want to excavate, because excavation is destructive, and we know what's there. Nothing is there. It's a natural formation. But I think their response to not wanting to excavate is a little bit different. Because if you do excavate and you don't find anything, where do you go from there? We're going to unpack this topic in more detail in this week's podcast, talking about some of the results and some of the reasons, potential reasons behind why maybe they don't want to do more with what they have. But this is the quick backstory of what ground penetrating radar is 
what it can do, because it can be a legitimate tool for archaeologists. But just because that name gets waved in front of you doesn't mean you should just accept everything that comes after it.